This is a place I know too well Been down here a while If you can't tell And I have analyzed Oh yeah, Bogan, so that Bogan is best described kind of like, like, um, a, like a uh, Australian redneck. It's kind of like a Chaz almost. in a way, a little bit. Uh, not quite, but like similar. Between, yeah. They've got like a really the, the similarity, I suppose, comes from like a really like put on accent. Like yeah. a, you, a Bogan really will speak accent. with the heaviest Australian accent you'll come across. There's also like defining features, like having a mullet. I suppose it's very, <laughs> very, tends to tends to mean outer, very a bit more out of the city. Yeah. Um, yeah, more country based. Go out west or go out country. But I think to be a bogan, it, it speaks about your taste as well. You're not it's behavior, just behavior, and taste. Not just to be living in the country would necessarily make you a bogan. You can yeah. be a city bogan. You can be a yeah. city bogan. Absolutely. Sure. There's yeah. a lot. You can drive a Datsun, up a middle class you know, bogan. Have, have a shit Southern Cross tattoo if you want. Though. Yeah, there are th some things you might have. You might have a Southern Cross tattoo. You might. Yeah. Um, your hip hop taste probably ranges as far as um, Hilltop Woods, and that's it. And Dari, yeah, the so you fag. wouldn't call it that. Yeah, yeah that one. much more politically incorrect, you guys would call it that. We call Dari. it a Dari or a dart. A Punch, dart. Punching a dart a is dozer. what you'll hear a more dozer. often these days. <laughs> Togs are uh, your swimmers. Swimming, swimming costumes. Yeah, that's your bathers, your bodies, your bikini, whatever. Where we're from, we call them cozies. We yeah. call them cozies, but Sydney, specifically- Sydney cozy, which is swimming costume. Yeah, so. specifically up Queensland where they call them that. The you, Ute. Yes. The oh, you guys are the same. People. You guys don't call those We Utes. We discovered that in America that we're the, ah. we thought we, we thought that was like a more well-known thing. And then they, they yeah. go, I'll go put it in the truck. And you're like, oh, you mean the Ute? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your typical American truck or like a, a, a two-seater, usually two-seater vehicle with a train on the back. It's a utility vehicle. Utility we call it, we call it a Ute. Robert is, yeah. Robert is a young person who serves. Yeah. And he's generally good. I think I might be extending myself a bit. Maybe that's a thing in places like Byron because they've got more of a surf culture. Yeah. I mean, it's, like, I mean, places that I, I've, like, heard, you know, I've heard I've heard it many times. Places, many places where there's like, I guess, like a surf scene mm, yeah. and you're going out every day and you're seeing the same people kind yeah. of thing. That's where I think that's where that lingo exists. I don't think you yeah. cop that in Cronulla Beach very much. Yeah, oh, AC, yeah. Oh. But then there's also a tribute band called Akadaka. Oh, like the full word, actually. Yeah, yeah. Akadaka. So we, we pronounce it Akadaka because AC, there's no AC, rhyme or reason to what we do. And usually we try and shorten things, but if we're really being obnoxious, we'll just like stretch, man. But, but I mean, you know, you asked before what a bogan is. That's a bogan word. That's oh, bogan as hell. Yeah, like, if you say, what's your favorite band? Akadaka, mate. That's like, mm. that's, you know, you're meeting with a world class bogan if mm -hmm. you hear that. <laughs> 